Kevin Eubanks couldn't be here. Kevin is on tour. He's in France right now. He called me today, and he's over there, so he wouldn't be back till next week. So if you're wondering where Kevin Eubanks is, he's with us in spirit, certainly. Okay. Boy, this is the hard part. I want to thank you, the audience. You folks have been just incredibly loyal. This is tricky. <laughs> uh, we wouldn't be on the air without you people. Secondly, this has been... The greatest 22 years of my life. <laughs> I am the luckiest guy in the world. I got to meet presidents, astronauts, movie stars. It's just been incredible. I got to work with lighting people who made me look better than I really am. <laughs> I got to work with audio people who made me sound better than I really do. I got to work with producers and writers. And just all kinds of talented people who made me look a lot smarter than I really am. I'll tell you something. First year of this show, I lost my mom. Second year, I lost my dad. Then my brother died. And uh, after that, I was pretty much out of family. And the folks here became my family. Consequently, when they went through rough times, I tried to be there for them. The last time we left the show, you might remember, we had the 64 children that were born among all our staffers that married. That was a great moment. And when people say to me, hey, why don't you go to ABC? Why don't you go to Fox? Why don't you go? I didn't know anybody over there. <laughs> These are the only people I've ever known. I'm also proud to say this is a union show. And I have never worked. I have never worked with a more professional group of people in my life. They get paid good money. And they do a good job. And when the guys and women on this show would show me the new car they bought or the house up the street here in Burbank that one of the guys got, I felt I played a bigger role in their success as they played in mine. And that was just a great feeling. And I'm really excited for Jimmy Fallon. You know, it's fun to kind of be the old guy and sit back here and see where the next generation takes this great institution. And it really is. It's been a great institution for 60 years. I'm so glad I got to be a part of it. But it really is time to go hand it off to the next guy. It really is. And in closing, I want to quote Johnny Carson, who was the greatest guy to ever do this job. And he said, I bid you all a heartfelt goodbye. Now, now that I brought the room down. <laughs> hey, Garth, you got anything to liven this party up? Give it a shot. Go to Brooks.